Madison Beard's a singer-songwriter on the Epic Records label, which is part of Sony Music Entertainment. And this experience features a number of songs from her first album, Life Support. We're using a real-time engine to create a quote-unquote live experience of Madison performing in, in the Sony Music Hall in New York. We wanted to really push the envelope in terms of creating a realistic concert simulation. And what could we then do to create this layer of fantasy or fantastical visuals on top of that? We worked with our partner Hyperreal to recreate Madison as an avatar. It was imperative that she looked real. Her dance moves, her mouth, her hair, her dress, all the way down to her earrings, being able to naturally move as she danced and performed the concert. From there, you know, our challenge is to sort of do all that hard work justice with how we present it in the stage environment, with the lighting design, the effects package, really show it off and make it pop, make it exciting for people to experience. Unreal Engine to us was clearly the best engine and had the best set of technologies to allow us to realize a very ambitious project. There was no other option that was close. The Sony Hall, in many ways, it's got almost like the perfect amount of dimension for a project like this. And we wanted a venue that was based on a real place to ground things in reality. And ultimately, we decided to construct it entirely from scratch. And so we never actually physically stepped foot into the venue. And Madison never stepped foot in there to perform. And when that all came together for the first time, we were like, whoa. We knew we had something special. The lighting was a big part of that. When we layered on fire and rain, star fields and all of the fantastical things that are in the experience, the hair stood up. Like, this is an entirely new era of content creation. When we did the motion capture of Madison, she performed the full nine and a half minute concert straight through. Because we had a real time 3D asset, it opened itself up for a very natural virtual production opportunity. Let's bring a DP in and actually do this like we would do a real concert, but have the flexibility of essentially unlimited takes. And then you start learning all the tricks that they can add, given that it's virtual. So you can take a dolly that's a straight track and translate that straight track dolly to you know a loop or a curve or moving up and down. It's when you start understanding that this real world equipment, how it can translate and change its shape into the virtual reality that your mind kind of explodes and you're like, wow, this is, this is powerful stuff. The part of all this that just remains so compelling to me is just what you can do once you've created something in the engine. It just really allows you to focus all your energy and creativity on sort of creating the world itself, knowing that you can do the VR interactive piece and the mobile AR version and the pixel streamed version and the 2D video extract for YouTube or TikTok, that you can pull all of these different versions out of that singular effort. To be able to sit down with an artist and say, dream up your fantasy experience for your fan. We don't have laws of physics. We don't have fire code and safety to abide by. And to know that the tools and the technology exist to make that a reality is the most exciting thing for artists and the music industry.